I knew Kataza from Komaki, where he was a very charming baboon in the troop. He used to help the babies, used to help the alpha, keep them under in check. And um, I was notified that he was a problem animal, and um, I said that we wouldn't tolerate him being killed. And then um, I was later notified that he was moved to the Takai troops. So that day I went to check and I saw him running across the road in the rain in August um, at risk and I was furious because it's far more suburban than Komaki. So I started to help him cross the roads and very soon I got a whole gang of the most incredible people. So all we are is observers, so we have no say in what he does or where he goes. And all we try and do is stop the traffic from knocking him over and stop him from going to shops. The city sent him back to Komaki on the 12th of November. Um, but he battled to integrate these two troops that he tried and um, that wasn't a success. So in the last two weeks he's been just going from house to house like a lonely baboon. Baboons are very social animals, so it's incredibly cruel to see him behaving like this. He wakes up in the morning and calls, and that's calling for other baboons. The difficulty in a situation like this is, as soon as an animal has learned behaviour, they are going to proceed with that behaviour. And in this case with Kataza, he has learned that it's easier to raid people's homes to find food than actually foraging for food. So that learned behaviour will continue, until he is actually rehabilitated and then prospects of being released back into the wild in the future. The SPCA believes that there were alternative solutions available prior to the translocation. Had the city consulted the various role players, this could have ended up differently. However, we are in the situation we are now. Kataza is not integrating with his natal troop. He's not integrating with uh, the baboon troops around him. And for this reason, the best solution at this point in time is to send him to a wildlife rehabilitation center. Uh, on uh, Thursday afternoon, we approved the permits. The first one is to then uh, for the applicant, the SPCA, to capture the animal. Um, and secondly, an export permit from the Western Cape province to relocate the animal based on the application and the supporting documentation to the Riverside Rehabilitation Center in Letsetele in Limpopo um, province. Yeah, I think that um, uh, SK11 would probably have quite a, quite a good life um, where he's going to uh, based on the fact that he be rehabilitated uh, to, to, you know, almost get back to a semi-wild status. Uh, so now we, uh, I'm, I'm happy with the decisions and comfortable with the decisions that Cape Nature has taken.